god, I am so excited. I feel like it hasn't snowed like this for so many years. Like, it's kind of had like little showers of snow and it's never really settled. But this morning I woke up and I was like, I, I, I kind of like glanced through the bathroom window. I was like, why is it white? And then I opened the curtains and I was like, Ali! <laughs> it's snowed so much like Ali's parents can't leave their house it snowed so much they live in the middle of nowhere though um and our house has got like a foot of snow I'd say I know that's not a lot compared to other places in the world but compared to, to what we get in England and what we've had the last few years this is so exciting and it's so funny because we spent the, the whole weekend we've spent organizing our house because obviously if you didn't know if I hadn't mentioned it enough we're moving and I'm not sure if you've been watching this channel for a while, but you might remember when um, I started this channel, we'd been in this house probably a year or a year and a half. And um, we didn't have any pictures anywhere in the house. It's just that thing, isn't it? You can, you never really get round to printing them. You take so many pictures, but you never get round to printing them. And one thing I really wanted to do before we leave this house was to document our last Christmas here and um, just capture some amazing memories that I can stick into kind of like a collage frame because I never want to forget living in this house. I never want to forget what we went through in this house. It was like our whole lives changed here and we, built a little family here with our cats and we've both built businesses here and this house is really where we kind of like cemented our relationship because we'd never lived together before so as much as I'm like frustrated I don't want to forget living here so I really wanted to document oh hi <laughs> I really wanted to document our last Christmas here and the fact that it has snowed today is absolutely perfect so I think what we're going to do is we're going to take out the fur babies and get some pictures and then Ali and I are going to go and get some pictures and what we're going to do is we're going to use the new Instax which is, you might have heard of the cameras, we've actually got the cameras going on our tables at our wedding and they produce like pictures right there in the moment. This one is a little bit different, this is not a camera, this is a printer so you can print the pictures from your phone. It partners with your phone via Wi-Fi and you can print the pictures directly from your phone to this. And so you can be taking pictures all night and then when you get home you just print them all off and you've got them right there and then there's something really special about like having the actual picture. And Instax have actually sponsored this video so it was like a match made in heaven. Me and my little family are going to create some lovely memories and pictures. <laughs> he does not care. I am going to get myself ready. I'm going to put some makeup on my face, which I haven't done for the entire weekend. So it's going to feel quite nice. And then we're going to take Lynx for his first walk in the snow and probably take both the cats out together because it's nice and quiet outside at the moment and it's just so pretty. There's a little magpie just sat in that tree up there. Um, so yeah, let's get ready for the first snow day of the year. Yay!
I just thought that I would show you quickly one of the pictures that I took this morning. We were snuggling on the sofa with Lynx and um, I managed to get a picture of him in the Christmas tree. So first of all, I go into settings and I connect via the Wi-Fi to the Instax printer. So that's it there. So that's connected and then I go into the app and you can even edit it so you can add like custom filters and brighten it up and change the sort of filters and the contrast. Just turn the printer on and then select it and print. So that's the first picture that we took of the day. So that's the first picture that will go in the frame later on this evening. But I am all kind of like ready and my makeup's done, my hair's done. I've not really done too much for my hair just because it's still snowing outside. So I'm gonna get out of my very colorful pajamas and um, get ready for the day. So I've got some things that I'm gonna wear today because I wanna get some pictures of them out in the snow. So as I mentioned, I had a huge clear out of the entire house over the weekend and um, even had a clear out of my wardrobe. So the majority of my wardrobe is now in storage, but it's just so easy to go in there now. I can find absolutely everything. There's movement and um, everything's just much better organized. So I'm gonna pick out what I'm wearing today. I want to wear my deep red wine hobs coat that I got last week, because it's furry and it's snuggly. It's faux fur, by the way, and very, very snuggly, so it's perfect for weather like this. And then we're gonna take the fur babies out. So, this is the coat that I'm gonna wear. It's this gorgeous red color and it's just so festive. And I'm gonna pop my Burberry scarf with it and then layer up with some nice black cashmere and jeans and boots, which I think will be perfect for keeping me warm whilst out in the snow. Got my jeans, a cashmere jumper. Oh, gloves. I've got some super snuggly shirling gloves that I got from John Lewis a couple of years ago, so I'm gonna wear those today. I know you're not supposed to, but I love wearing cashmere bed socks inside my boots at this time of the year, so I am gonna stick these on. They're not actually supposed to be worn with shoes, but they're too soft not to. Okay, this is my cozy snow day outfit. This coat is from Hobbs, and my scarf is from Burberry. My jeans are Paige, and my waterproof emu boots are emu, and then these gloves are from John Lewis. I am snug as a bug in a rug, and Ali is just getting the back door open because we're gonna take them out in the back garden because it's like perfect untouched snow. It looks lovely. So we're gonna go out there now. You ready to go outside, Lummy? We're gonna go play in the snowy. Come on. Ready? What's this? Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Pop. Wow. Oh. You're going to have your leg. Little snow troopers. <laughs> Lummy. Picture, picture, picture. Links. <laughs> Come on, puppet. Here we go. Open the door, film we're going in. Lummy didn't enjoy 
the snow as much as Lynx, did you, Lums? You had a little bit of a meltdown, <laughs> little, little bit of a, of a moment, didn't you? But it's okay now, you're back in the warm like the princess that you are. And this one has found a new toy. Yes, you have. Have a good scratchy. <laughs> you all right, Puppet? Are you all right? Oh. <laughs> We are currently walking to Willan Lake, which is near where we live, and I've got this little... See the snow spectacular. <laughs> oh my god, I've already got snow on the screen, damn it! <laughs> <laughs> but we're walking over there now, we're going to have a little walk around the park, because we don't actually get to do it that often, do we? So... No. And I think because it's snowed, you'll see a lot of wildlife as they stand oh, yeah. out. So normally I'm... they kind of blend in. I'm hearing lots of rustling as well, which is quite cool. The nicest feeling is uh, standing in fresh powdered snow, it's like... Yeah. <sighs> so good. <laughs> oh my gosh, I am literally slipping everywhere. So Ali just goes to me, we should sing some uh, Christmas songs. No, we should play some Christmas songs as we walk over to the park and then proceeds to sing, we're all going on a summer holiday. <laughs> it's like, maybe don't put that one in. <laughs> so pretty. Yeah, it's lovely. I'm looking soggier and soggier as this vlog goes on, but we've come over, I can't even talk, you know when you're like, your mouth is like cold and you're like <laughs> um, but we've come over to Willen Lake and if any of you have watched my videos for a while or watched Ali, Ali's videos for a while, you'll know that right here is where we come and have our annual summer picnic. We won't be having those when we move. Well, we'll be having, I can't talk fast. We'll be having those um, at our house instead when, instead of having them here in the, uh, in the park. <laughs> Santa baby, we'll hurry down the chimney tonight, tonight. <laughs> <laughs> so we just decided that we're heading back now. The snow has got like quite a lot heavier again. Yeah. It's and the wet, isn't it? That makes yeah, it we're like soggy and now we're starting soggy. to get <laughs> moist. Oh, <I> <laughs> we're now um getting a bit a little bit I can't even talk, my mouth is so cold, I feel like I've got like blah, blah, blah. um but yeah, we got a bit cold. So we're now heading back, but we're gonna go buy some cheese. Yeah, yes. we're gonna go and buy some cheese. We, I think we're gonna do chocolate, uh, chocolate? Cheese fondue. <laughs> chocolate fondue. And um, have like a cheese board and lots of picky stuff tonight. And just snuggle under blankets with the cats, aren't we? Sounds like a plan. Oh, I'm so the excited. The only thing I miss is a fireplace. I know. We'll light your new Joan Malone candle though. The yes. incense and embers one. Yeah, it's really nice. I'm gonna steal your candle, but yeah. I don't know why I bothered to do my hair this morning. No, yeah. I did say to you. You did try and tell me, didn't you? I was like, no, my hair's disgusting. Be, Be careful. careful. Maybe don't vlog this bit. Yeah. <laughs> it's icy steps. Yeah. Should you get two or one? One? one to share, yeah. Sure? Yeah. <laughs> but that one, it tastes like it's been smoked. It looks like a sausage. What one's that? I don't know. You're one of these ones, isn't it? No, because it looks like a sausage. Oh. What about your Wednesday down in Cranberry? Got it. Yeah, that's enough then, isn't it? Okay. Should we get some fresh bread? Oh, yes. Probably around the right. Yeah, you can do. You get tiger bread or normally in the bright there. It's either that or tiger bread. I think tiger bread. Go on in. Look 
like a drown rat. Me? Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness, we just got back. And I look like a drowned rat, as Ali just told me in the shops. <laughs> what a waste of time it was doing my hair, but oh my gosh, it's so, so cold. Oh, I can barely feel my face. And I need to get out of my damp clothes, dry my hair. I look like a crazy lady, I'm like. <gasps> I need to dry my hair and get my cozy clothes on. I'm gonna put some socks on and oh, it's just gonna snuggle and then we're gonna make some food for us because that has definitely worked up an appetite. Whew. So we got back from the shop and we realised that we forgot to get all of the ingredients to make mulled wine. We're going to make a huge pot of mulled wine tonight for us to have a little sip whilst we snuggle on the sofa. So Ali's actually popped back out in the cold and he's going to go and pick all the bits up that we need. I am going to make the sitting room all like snuggly and festive. I'm going to get all of the blankets down and just make it super cosy. I've actually had to put on my dressing gown. It's so cold. It's unbelievable. So I've like got about 18 layers on at the moment. but. I just love, oh, I love days like this. I wish we had a fire, but I love days like this so much. <laughs> yumminess that we got for our dinner so we're gonna have some fish pie and some butternut squash chips and then we've also got camembert we've got my favorite which is Wednesday down in cranberry we've got hummus we've got cranberry sauce we've got a pork pie and we've got stuffed peppers what are you doing what are you doing stop it stop it okay so Ali's just got back from the shops and we've got some Argentinian wine, Malbec, which I quite like. Um, and we also have some ground nutmeg and ground cinnamon. Unfortunately, we have no cloves. And we also have an orange. So I'm going to start by making us some mulled wine to kick off the evening. And then we're gonna have some foodie food.
I just woke up and as predicted, Ali filmed me when I was asleep on the sofa, which is just fabulous. Um, but yeah, I look like utter crap at the moment. But yeah, I know that a lot of people don't really enjoy Christmas time, but I always think that there's like a little silver lining for these things. And the one thing I love about winter time is cold, cold water from the tap. Oh, it makes me so happy. It's the little things in life that makes me happy. In fact, that's something I've actually, I don't think I've ever really spoken to you guys about. It's like the little things in life that that make me happy. Oh, are you following mummy up the stairs? Hello, little one. <laughs> Did you have fun in the snow today? Every time I pick him up, he farts. <laughs> You've got the stinkiest fart. That is something that we've never really spoken about on this channel because obviously everything that I've always kind of done online, I, I started my blog because I had a love of fashion. That was kind of what that little space on the internet was for. It was for, um, me sharing the things that I loved because things like the small things in life, those were for my friends. Um, we would talk about those in conversation or talk about them with my parents or something like that. Um, I've always had this like focus on products and things and shopping and because that's something that I enjoy and it's something that we can kind of share in the online space. But then, and I also find that I'm one of those people that I'm not really that great at like communicating things like I see girls when they talk about things on like Twitter and stuff and they just get their point across and they just nail it every time and I'm just sat there and I'm like yes like why can't I vocalize things like even when people like attack me online which does happen a lot I I, I just like struggle to to even come back even when I know that I'm completely right like this whole thing about me pre-recording vlogmas um people have left the most awful comments about it and even then i'm like i don't i don't know how to vocalize this in order to make myself heard and so nine times out of ten i don't respond anymore exactly me sharing the little things in life that like i am so incredibly grateful for i don't know it it almost feels like too personal like i can let you in on all of the things that I'm buying and you know the new things that are happening in my life and you know new houses and weddings and stuff that doesn't feel too personal to me but when we start talking about like the small things because I do find that a lot of people get me so wrong it's unbelievable and I, I mean I think it sometimes I think if people want to get you wrong they just will and there's nothing that you can say about that like I think it was in one like my last vlogmas or something and I got the pink chair and um and it was just, I was so excited about this pink chair and then Ali like laid it all bare for me that that pink chair just wouldn't fit in our house and even if it did, the cats would destroy it because because of the size of our house, we have to let our cats go everywhere pretty much so they have like free free run of the house. And I was like, <laughs> like why, why are you bursting my bubble like this? We bought this house because um, Ali had saved as well. We had only been with Ali a year and um, usually you rent with someone but we both didn't want to rent so we just took this this leap of faith and moved in together and it was luckily the best thing that we ever did because here we are five years later about to get married um and this house was the most exciting thing that ever happened to me but it was also the scariest because i all of a sudden had this huge like this huge responsibility um i could lose this place if i didn't pay for it and i don't know why but that kind of like infiltrated my head and that was when um it w that was kind of like a tipping point and i fell into a little bit of anxiety and um struggled with that for about a year but i totally came out the other side i was fine so it's why i don't really talk about it too much on youtube because i do feel like so many people talk about it and they talk about it so much better than i do but I always am there like, yes, I like got through the other side of it. I'm absolutely fine. I really don't like, I manage my emotions now and I don't feel like I, um, I don't feel like I have it anymore. But it was this responsibility and um, also growing online, which was quite a bit of a shock for me. So you can imagine how much of a shock it was when I grew on YouTube. <laughs>
but we have grown so much since living here when we bought this place i was working full time um down in watford and i was commuting 500 miles a week in my car in my little mini <laughs> and it was all like really really exciting and and then we sort of we grew beyond this place quicker than we ever imagined and both working from home and we have people that come and work for us and literally our house has five rooms and one of them is the bathroom so we don't really do much work in there we do a lot of thinking in there but not a lot of work <laughs> we have nowhere for like we, we don't even have a dining table we have like a little bar that was made in the kitchen so i think that that's why today was so lovely to be able to like document our last kind of snowy christmas day here and i'm gonna have that in a frame and i can keep that around my house in the new house and remember living here and remember everything that happened here like my god my youtube channel was born in the in the hallway downstairs the morning that we got engaged and i was like why is he so stressed like we're going in a helicopter this is gonna be great and obviously i had no idea that what was happening later on that day and that was in this house and you know we've got Lumi here and we've got Lynx here and it's just so many memories it's like is our next house ever gonna have the opportunities to make the memories that we had here you just don't know so so anyway I actually got the idea of this from watching Megan Ellaby's video um I love Megan's channel and I saw her video that she did with Instax and Ali and I have got a couple of the Instax cameras like us at wireless festival in the summer and us at the picnic over the road but I'm going to now I've been kind of like editing up some of the pictures that we took today um, and I'm going to do a little bit of like a collage so I don't know if you can see that oh it's gone very dark so this was us out in the snow and then this was me taking links out and then there's just like a few more in there but what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook up the printer now and get my picture frame down and start popping them in. <laughs> is the gorgeous little collage of our last snow day here at this house however i've been joking online all evening about making this into a christmas card and i was thinking oh you know i could go and get the them printed and like have them ready for christmas and then i thought i can actually print enough for my family members in the house now and then make the cards myself so cut little slits in the card and feed it in and then just write happy Christmas inside. I thought that's quite nice because it's like a bit more of a personal touch. So yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Oh, this is gonna look so nice. In our new house, I want to build an actual like fireplace log burner um, and have pictures all up on the mantelpiece of it. And um, this will look lovely up there. 